Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we'll be reviewing the new Sunfire runes and all the stuff you need to make these Sunfire runes and what the Sunfire runes are used for. Uh, first, let me grab these Sunfire Splinters out of the bank real quick. And uh, these cost about 800 GP right now, so I think you might lose a little bit of money at current prices doing this. It depends on your rune crafting level as well. And speaking of a rune crafting level, these runes are unlike any other rune in the game. You need 33 rune crafting to make them, but unlike every other rune, the more of these you can make, the more XP you'll get. So at level 49, you'll be able to make two, and then at level 98, you'll be able to make three, which is kind of ridiculous. And I can only make two right now. I'm just one level away from being able to make three. But in order to get there, you will signal for your Quetzal, which, by the way, you'll need the Twilight's quest, Twilight's promise quest right here. And uh, the Quetzal isn't required, the little whistle. You do get it from doing rumors for Hunter, but it's not required. We have to travel. I had the wrong destination unlocked. Sheesh. I think it's this one. I was doing a couple other things earlier. You'll want to be right here if you didn't see that. The travel button right here. The outer fortress. That'll take you right here. And you'll just use your fire runes on this shrine of Rallos. And this will make your sunfire runes. You will see you partially succeed to imbue the temple's power into sunfire runes. I think this has to do with some sort of error or glitch in the game. It's either because you can make multiple of this rune, which isn't normal if you make things like lava runes, it's only one to one, I believe, or it has something to do with the uh, the robes that I have on here, which I have just so we get a little bit of extra money here. Just empty this and empty this, or you could shift click, but uh, wasn't thinking about it at the time. The whistle is pretty useful, but if you don't have the whistle, I believe you could just use teleport tabs. Yeah, we'll go back to Castle Wars and I will show you the tabs that you need in order to get back there. Do, 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 do. Or if you are on the standard spell book, uh, you could just use the, uh, the spell to get there, I suppose. It is the Citifus Teleport. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but you could use this. And let me grab some essence here real quick. And we'll do another run while I uh, talk about what these runes are used for. These runes are used for all fire spells. They cannot be used with non-combat spells. However, they do increase the minimum hit of the spell. You'll hit 10% of your max hit will be the minimum hit. Hope I said that right. So you have a max hit of 50 with a fire spell. You'll have a minimum hit of 5. So you either splash or you'll hit a 5. Uh, this will be really good for things like... Uh, the ice demon inside of i think i have this set to the left click option you can left click option these things and they'll go to your last destination see it says you're already there and then obviously you have shift click options anyways it's pretty good for ice demon and anything else that you would normally fire surge on you can use these runes on let's say the uh the, the tome of fire that's it right on the tip of the tongue you can use the runes on the Tome of Fire, and you'll get that passive effect of the minimum 10% being the damage. Anyways, this is how to make these. It is about 25k XP an hour as soon as you can make them, and then at level 44 when you can make two at a time, it goes up to about 50k XP an hour. And at 98, based on those numbers, I would assume that I would get probably around 75k rune crafting XP an hour. I did do this for about an hour and a half, and those were the rates that I was getting. Obviously, I was getting around 50k XP an hour, 45, 50k. I'm not the best rune crafter, though. But uh, if there's anything else you want to know about uh, these Sunfire runes, just let me know. And I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you want more information about how to get the Quetzal, just leave a comment. I'll try and help you out there. And next video, I think I'll be... Um, going back and reviewing the Rallos throwing star again because it was updated. So I think I'll buy two and I'll give one to whoever I'm doing stuff with. And we'll both 
use specs at the same time. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.